What's going on everybody? It's LSU Maniac coming back at you for another little break. So today I finally got it in. We're going to take a look at 2020 Tops Inception. Unlike other uh, releases, uh, this usually release, most top stuff releases on a Wednesday. Uh, but this one released on Friday, so that's why I'm just now getting it. I order all my stuff from a vendor online. So I don't usually get it like normal folks when it does release on say Friday. But uh, anyway, here it is, Tops Inceptions. It's not a product for everybody, guys. Uh, it's got a lot of colors to it. You, we're going to be expecting one autograph. It might tell you on here. Yeah, here we go. One autograph or autograph relic card. And there's some pretty decent patch relics, autograph relics in here that I've seen. Here's a look at the uh, odds if you want to take a look at that. You can freeze frame it. Got the no purchase necessary if any of y'all ever do that. I've never done any of that uh, no purchase necessary. I always wondered if... If you even if, would you even get anything if you done that? I'm not even sure, but if y'all have ever done any of that, let me know if y'all was able to get something. No purchase necess necessary. Maybe they'll send you an autograph. I don't know. I have no earthly idea. Here they go, guys. We got two packs, so hopefully we'll get a nice autograph. Here's a look at the pack. Here we go. Not gonna be a terribly long video. I think what I've been seeing online, you're getting about two numbered cards, maybe one number cards or two colors in that autograph. So here's what I was telling y'all guys, you know, it's, I don't know if I'm sold on the, the uh, quality of it, or I should say the design. I mean, you can see it. It's a bunch of like splash paint, kind of hard to see the name Shane Bieber. Here's a look at the back. Got one year of the stats, gives you a little breakdown of the player, born, date, and all that. So, you know, y'all let me know in the comments below how do y'all feel about Inception. Do y'all like it? I mean, I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty mixed. But uh, I just don't know, guys. I don't know what I think about it. Now, I will say some of the autographs that I've seen are really, really nice. And we should be getting an autograph here in the next card or the Jacob DeGrom. Castillo, I'm pretty sure our autograph's the next one, so I'm going to come off the back. We got a Sheldon Noose, and that's, a, I guess, a red, and it's numbered out of 75, if you can see that. Rookie card for the Athletics. Sheldon Noose. Then we got a green. Sean Murphy, two Athletics, and that's a green, and I don't see any numbering on that, so... I guess these are not numbered. I'm not exactly sure, but I don't see it. And here's our autograph, guys. Turn it around. Michael Brusso. And there's what I was telling y'all, man. That is a beautiful looking patch. Look at that thing. Sticker autograph. So I will say you do get sticker autographs on the patch cards, but man, that is a sick looking patch, guys. Numbered out of 75. Tampa Bay Rays, Michael Brusso. I don't know a whole lot about him. I know he was in Top Series 1, 2020. But there we go, man. We'll start it off with a nice patch. I want to say you get one or two of those per case. And I think they're 20 box or 16 box cases. So here we go, pack number two. Got Isniel Diaz, rookie. Jack Flattery. Got an Aaron Judge, Javier Baez, come off the back. Another Diaz, rookie card green, not numbered. Jack Flattery, Flattery. I know y'all gonna make fun of me. I can't never get that name right. Not numbered, another green. So pretty much two of those got the same card twice. And here's our autograph, it's an orange guys. Los Angeles Dodgers, come on, man. Let's be a, let's be a Gavin Lux, baby. Gavin Lux, baby. There we go, guys. I cannot believe that. What a, now see, I can dig that. Number to 50. You see the numbering right there? And there we go. That's my first Gavin Lux of the year, guys. Orange. 
Not number to 25 like normally, but it is number to 50. Rookies and Emerging Stars autograph card of Gavin Lux. Well, guys, I'm going to say that was a successful break, man. And that is an on-card autograph, not a sticker. Didn't get too much in the base and the numbered cards, but, man, there we go, Gavin Lux. And I do enjoy it, baby. That is my first one of the year. I will say, man, last year with the big four rookies, I never did pull a Tatis. I never pulled an Eloy, but I was able to pull a uh, a couple of Pete Alonzo's. So I did all right last year, but it took a while. So here we go, man. Y'all let me know in the comments how y'all feel about this design. I don't know. But anyway, we got Gypsy Queen coming out in a couple days. I'll get that towards the end of the week. Guys, I sure appreciate it. If y'all don't mind, give me a thumbs up. I'm going to get on out of here, guys. LSU Maniac out of here.